Man, do I got something to show you. Shout out to Twiz the Jeweler. So Twiz hit me up, he was like, yo, Koobs, I gotta show you something that's gonna blow your mind. You gotta pick up this piece to check it out and maybe showcase it on your channel. And I'm like, all right, send me a picture of what you're talking about. Then he showed me and I'm like, yeah, gotta see this joint. So we linked up, he let me borrow this piece temporarily. By the time this video closed, this is no longer in my possession because I don't want it here. Just to give you an idea, this is the size of the presentation of the piece that we're gonna be looking at, and I haven't seen it yet in person, however, we're gonna be unboxing it together because the videos, whew, let's roll my music so I could put you on to Twiz the Jeweler's one of one piece. I'm kind of a big deal. Beautiful people, you know who it is, it's your boy. See to you to be to the A. So Twiz made himself a piece. He is a bench jeweler. The dude gets busy. And we've seen previously how he made that beautiful micro pendant Jesus piece that I thought was one of the most beautiful Jesus pieces I've personally seen. Now I've said it time and time again, I'm not a Jesus piece type person as far as personal wear is concerned. But I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that it's not one of the most iconic pendants in hip hop jewelry or jewelry in general. And to say that there's hundreds if not thousands of interpretations of Jesus pieces is an understatement and it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. But I thought his piece was not only artistic, provided different angles, textures and things of that nature. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a marker up here somewhere so you guys can click on it and see my previous video. So he made his own larger version. And let's be clear, there's no expense spared on this personal piece because even though he is a jeweler, it doesn't mean he gets shit free. You gotta spend money on material and your time is money. Even if it's for your piece, this is, let's just jump right into showing you guys what this joint looks like. Cause the videos I'm sure don't do it justice and I wanna get down to the nerdy gritty. Boom, so let's be honest, uh, A plus for presentation, look at the size of this piece. I mean, if you're gonna exhibit a piece of this type of price point with this kind of detail, best believe it better have a hell of a presentation. So we're gonna take off this large cover of this coffin-like piece. Comes in a beautiful velvet style box. Look at this joint. It's beautiful, what is that velvet? Slide this joint out of here. So what we're gonna be taking a look at is Twiz's one of one stamped VVS bust down Jesus piece with a full, well, it's gonna get a little chilly up in this piece. Look at this gem. Right yeah. Look at this puppy right here. Can the camera even pick up the iciness? True VVS 14 karat gold craziness. Look at how white clear and gorgeific this pendant is. And yeah, we're not gonna negate the chain. We're not gonna act like this is a cluster. These are individual. Let's take these pieces off so we can take a look at them close. Look at the detail on this amazing Jesus piece. Look at the bail work. Y'all can't front that the details in this look absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna even try to do as close of shots as I can just to show you guys the setting, but still manage to keep the details in the hair down to the part this beautiful like Alhambra's four leaf clover style pendant with a nice chunky stone in the middle. These got these individual ovals around and then super tight setting going all around. Got the large oval in the center, then the rounds individually on the side. The details on the side of the nose's profile, on the actual beard, on the whisks of the hair. And then this is the part that intrigued me the most. And I'll explain to you why. Beautiful, Big pointers on the tennis chain to give you that super overlooked, ridiculously icy piece. But there's something special about this chain, which definitely intrigues me, and I'm glad he put it together with this piece. Because these are true VVS naturals. These are labs. And I found that very interesting and exciting, actually. And I asked him, yo, Twiz, why did you make the chain out of labs? His response was, why not? It's the best response I could have ever heard. With my enthusiasm of labs, this is kind of the content that I'm talking about. Engaging true naturals, VVS, super high quality, and saving a decent amount of money going the lab route in pairing both pieces up as there is no contrast. You can match that expensive stone look in the lab format and it doesn't take away from the piece at all. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece, Twiz, you just killed this shit. This looks beautiful. 
beautiful. I'm so happy that you went the lab route when it came to the tennis chains. And these are big boys. These joints are like what, 25, 30 pointers, maybe even a little bit more on a lab setting, which looks crazy, super beautiful. The pendant is insane. I'm gonna have to test them with my Presidium. I know I, there's no doubt that it's gonna be diamond, but I broke the gem oral. The tip actually snapped off already from frustration. So that's done though, but let's make sure that these test out correctly in case Twiz is trying to pull a fast one. Well, that was quick enough. Yep. Yep. Let's go to the small one, see if I can hit one. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be near impossible to hit one of these. Yeah, I almost had it. There you go, and that's right at the tip of the nose. Let's try the ones on the bail, that Alhambra. Yep. Yep, I, we're certified. Now let's try the labs. Yep. Yep. So the chain alone is almost 40 carats of rounds and that's 114 lab round stones, 39.90 carats, F color, VS quality labs. And the Jesus pendant alone is F color as well, VVS quality. Oof. So we're talking almost 54 total carat diamonds in this particular piece. Now it is a 101 piece, but Let's be honest, he's gonna build it for you if you want one. He'll build you something similar with whatever specifications you want. The camera does not do this piece justice, it's an absolute showstopper. It really shows the type of craftsmanship and setting that Twiz can do, and there's really nothing else to do but try this puppy out. Thank God he made it like 26 inches that you can just put it over the head. This is, take this shit off. I feel rich as broke as I am, but I gotta hit you with the neck profile. Had to cover my huge tits. That's only for OnlyFans. Shout out to Twiz the Jeweler for letting me borrow this piece so I can show you guys the type of detail work that he's able to do himself. If you're looking for something like this or any of his other Jesus pieces, whether it be micro, mid-size, larger size, he's able to customize and make whatever you want. His Instagram information will be in the description of the video and I love y'all mother suckers. Let me know what you guys think of this piece. Is it too much? Do you like the combination of the lab diamonds mixed in with the naturals? Can you see any difference? Let me know you guys thoughts and I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches.